Oh, dear. What have we here? Things seem to have gone from bad to worse since we left you, dog. Please, you have to help me. I've seen the light now. You're right, they're bastards, and I want to help you overthrow them. Amazing how a lynching can focus the mind. So how did you end up in this sorry state? They left me with no choice. They said I had to do the honourable thing. <laughs> he did this to himself. <laughs> I know. I'd laugh if it was the other way around too. You've every reason to hate me. I understand that, but you can't leave me hanging here. Come on, we better get the idiot down. If you what? three hold him still, then wait, I'll wait, take wait, 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 wait. This bastard is responsible for untold pain and suffering. We can't just cut him down and let him go. Yeah, but that was the old me. I've seen the light now. I'm just as much a victim as you lot are. Look at me. Well, what are you suggesting? We can't just leave him hanging there. I agree. We should finish the job. <gasps> How do you mean? Kick away the stool and let him twist in the wind. No! Come on now, comrades. A, a joke's a joke. Which is exactly what he would do if the situations were reversed. No, I wouldn't. Come on, I'm not a monster. Shut up, dog. Think about all the families he's torn apart, all the men and women he's tortured, all the hungry children. His death would honour them and be a statement to all his victims that we can win. Or a provocation. If we kill Dog, we give the Troika no choice but to come after us. I could be useful to you, though. I know how things work, how many troops they I got. said shut up. Look, they're coming after us no matter what we do. They don't care about Dog. Look at him. They left him here to die. Dog is a human being. We can't leave him here. We have no right to execute him. That's right. Am I not a man? If you cut me, do I not? I eat? said shut up. Oh. Mary's right. If we don't help him, then we're just as bad as he is. You lot don't get it, do you? We're at war here. Hold on. Who said anything about war? We're just trying to get to the Liberty Tree. The moment you lot defied Dog, you declared war on the whole system. And they can't risk what might happen if you defy them and get away with I it. I get that, Joe, but we're also not going to kill someone to make a point. And he might be able to help us. <laughs> it wasn't my idea to start this. But now we're in it, we've got to see it through. Or be even worse than it was before. But what's that got to do with killing Dog? Dog is a symbol. And by killing him, we show that we can win. And the ends justify the means? Yes. Look. You lot need to decide what side you're on. Sitting on the fence and hoping for the best isn't going to cut it anymore. Stay where you are. You're all under arrest. I told you they'd come. I'm not letting him get away scot-free. <laughs> he deserves to die. Keep singers separate. You couldn't even kill yourself without our help. <laughs> You've done it this time, though, singer. Attempting to lynch a senior police officer. I'm afraid it'll be your head in the noose before the month is out. Isn't that right, Judge <gasps> You will get a fair trial, as will you all. But I'm sure you will all agree that we must have the rule of law. We can't have mobs wandering around the countryside stringing up police officers. But your worship, I am sure these good citizens are victims just as much as poor boss dog here. Mm? Really? Well, these good citizens are victims of Propaganda and indoctrination imposed on them by this terrorist Jacobin, Joe Singer. Isn't that right? Oh, well, 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 I guess. Right. Uh, I see. I wasn't indoctrinated. Rosa, don't. It was my idea to search for the Liberty Tree, not his. And I persuaded Joe and the others to join me. And you can't blame them for wanting to try. That or spend their lives ground under the hill of your snivelling thrall up there. <laughs> so this is the girl. It's not a crime to want to be free. Actually, in this territory it is. Look, don't listen to her. It's all down to me, like you said. Take him away and the others. <gasps> Rosa, don't say anything. <laughs> Sacrifice yourself won't save me. <laughs> if you don't mind, Your Honour, I would like to speak to this young lady alone. What's going to happen to my friends? Well, you heard the judge. They'll get a fair trial. Even Singer, which is more than he was willing to give Doc. Joe is a good man. Really? Well, you just tried to lynch an unarmed police officer. It wasn't like that. You're, You're better, better than, than this, than Rosa. Rosa. How do you mean? You're smarter. You've got more guts. More, 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 more integrity, even. A girl like you could do a lot of good in this world. What are you talking about? 
it's easy to be a part of the herd. the herd. Pushed along by the masses, or worse, some infantile anarchists like Joe Singer, childishly rebelling against any authority like a stroppy two-year-old. It's not easy to stand alone either, to think for yourself like Joe does. On the other hand, it takes real, real courage, courage to engage with the system and try to change it from within. Think of how much good you could do if you could sit at the top table. An ordinary girl like me isn't going to get anywhere near the top table though, is she? You're not ordinary, Rosa. That lot are ordinary. Even Joe, Joe. is ordinary. These days, there's a gobby anarchist on every street corner. Well, perhaps the fact that there are so many indicates they've got something to shout about. You see, you see? this is what I'm talking about. You can hold your own without ranting and raving. Can you get to the point? Look, I admit it. I myself are very fond of some of the material benefits of being rich. The diamonds, the perfumes, the beautiful clothes, the first class travel, the fabulous food, and of course, servants catering to my every whim. But I can see that for someone like you, that wouldn't be important. Nonetheless, the rich and powerful are called that for a reason. And with, with that, that power, power comes the chance to change the world according to your own values. In which case, you must be a right bastard. <laughs> there you go, topping me again. You're good. Listen. If you want it, there's a comptroller's position going in the Queen Marionetta's worshipful company of overseers. What? And I offer you this for entirely selfish reasons, I assure you. Because, because we, need we need people like you. If the overseers are to develop and prosper, we need a coalition of the talented. A meritocracy where the talented can prosper and in prospering themselves, help everyone to prosper. Won't you think about it? Will you let me go? Will you let my friends go? You're free to leave at any time. And I promise your friends will get a fair trial. You could speak for them in court and if you had the money, you could pay for lawyers and all that. Why don't you think about it overnight, hmm? Take this young lady to the guest room. You made the made right, the right decision, decision, Rosa. 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 You'll see. see. Well? She bought it. I knew she would. Silly cow. And once she's had a taste for the champagne and caviar, <laughs> she'll be ours. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dog! You're still here. Cut the idiot down. Good job. I was worried about <laughs> A bit of integrity can stir up a great deal of trouble. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. And can I just say, I'm, I'm so sorry. Sorry? Sorry for what? You played a blinder, dog. We've got that singer banged to rights thanks to you. Oh, right. Indeed. You're being reinstated and given the Queen Marionette a cross for bravery in the face of insubmission. Oh. Uh, right. The Queen herself will make the award at the palace in a few days. <laughs> well done, Governor. <laughs> yeah, we knew you'd come up, Trumps. Oh. Oh. Don't push your luck, Flatfoot. Oh. Sir, I, uh, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Give us all a break. Right, jump to it, dog. We need you back in uniform and back on duty ASAP. Yes, sir. Come on, you two. We're back in business. Cocking idiot. A useful idiot, though, from time to time. <laughs>